So welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. My name's Alexander, and today we're taking a look at a, I'm pretty sure, brand new, or at least very new, or new to us game, uh, and that is called Fighters of the Pacific. This is from Capsicum Games and Don't Panic Games. Uh, I believe this is a non-English company, I want to say it might be French, and I don't know if this is the English language distributor, I don't quite know how that is. Um, so this is a two-player tactical air combat World War II game. Um, and it comes in a pretty small package, and it was also, I think it was like 40 bucks brand new. Uh, so it, the package itself was very affordable, all things considered. Um, so it, it, this is a, if you have a big hex board, and you play as either uh, American uh, fighter planes or Japanese fighter planes, and you're doing dogfights, trying to do ground missions. That's what this game is, this is a head-to-head -head game. Uh, and we're just gonna open it up and take a dive on in, but I mean, the artwork, stunning, and it is illustrated by uh, Alexandre Bonvano, Bonvalo, and Antoine Schindler. So I, I believe it's two French uh, gentlemen. Uh, so what do we get inside of it? Well, uh, a good amount of bits and pieces. So we have the game set up and the game rules. This is kind of like how to play the game. And as you can tell from that, that was not a lot, right? This is a not particularly complicated game. Hopefully it's just easy to dive into. Got ourselves a little bit of a plate on the back of Fields of Fire, Speed, Armor, and for the different um, airplanes that you can fly. We do have a solitaire mode sheet that tells you, I think, what the enemy's gonna do in that, so just know that this does exist. And there is a multiplayer mode as well of how you're gonna go about doing that, but a solitaire bot, that's pretty nice. Then we have the mission book. So this is all of the different scenario setups and what those look like. Um, it kind of goes through what those look like. So we have a combat air patrol where it's just a massive big old dogfight, different versions of that, what that looks like. And then we get into trying to find and destroy a Japanese surface fleet, which has some protection around it, right? Think about Midway, for example. Here we have a, a large, what, uh, a large US fleet that's gonna be uh, attacked. So, you know, it's variations on a theme. Hey, you have to go and a big Japanese air fleet gotta go and bomb uh, this little island, I would presume, or bombing run, damage control. So all sorts of different missions that you're gonna go through. We have a big old sheet of boards, a big old package of boards. And these are interlocking geomorphic hex maps. So these are, and so this is A2 and B2. Those slide together pretty easily, and that's reasonably, that's a really nice seam, all things considered. Uh, so we've got some clouds on here and the ocean, A2, B2. But that is a very crisp and very clear set of boards as well. And they are all double-sided, so we've got B1, A1. Now, you know, a lot of the map is water or clouds, right? But we have a little island here, another little island, some more clouds, and open sea. So all, all of those, we can make a number of different, you know, boards with that and what that looks like. A big old stack of, you know, a bunch of bags here that we're gonna use. And then we have all of the different cardboard and some play aids. This is just a shipping insert, it's printed nicely, but we can get rid of that if we need to, but looks like everything's gonna fit nicely with keeping that, so we might do that. So these are little kind of dashboards, uh, a player reference of the different types of planes that you can have. If you remember on the back of the rule book, uh, we had all of that same information here printed rather small, but you can hand these out and this tells you, you know, an there's, an, there's a set of these for each player, so you can see what your planes do and what the en enemy planes do. Or if you're doing um, uh, multiplayer, each one gets one and you, you kind of don't have that same reference. But on the back of those, 
So this tells you the individual plane stats on the back of this, it tells you the different maneuvers that you can do and pictorially what those look like and then the little rules reference of what flight is and what that looks like within the rules of the game. So those are just little pieces of card. We also have a sequence of play, a little turn track, and then these uh, different victory point tracks as well, which I think for holding, when you destroy planes or you hit targets and things, I think you're gonna note those down by putting the counters on here, I believe. But you have, you know, here's, here's the US one, and there's one, a little Japanese themed one, which is, it's nice, you know, a little extra touch that they put on there. Like, who doesn't like that? Uh, and they have, I think it's identical, they just, there's a horizontal version and a portrait version. And the rest of this is sheets of cardboard. Uh, so you can look here, we have um, different planes going on. So let's see, we have zeros, we have vowels, and then we have kates, is my understanding of that. Uh, so we're gonna get a, a little closer look on that. Those are really, really nice looking. And we also have uh, some ships, and these are named as well. So we have the Akagai. I don't know how you pronounce that, really sorry. We have some torpedo markers, some bomb markers, and you have these uh, kind of trailing damage markers, and you literally put them like under the plane when they're, when they're damaged on fire. It's pretty neat. Like, it's just a cute little touch. You'll note that these have a cloud background on them. The reverse side is the low altitude with the C uh, background on them. Uh, that's the differentiation between those. Rather than damaged or undamaged, we have damage markers for those, but this is a low altitude, this is a high altitude. Uh, for when those are on the map. So you're gonna be flying around at high altitude, come do some dive bombing, but then, you know, it's gonna take some effort to climb back up. We have uh, basically an identical sheet of this, but it's the Kaga instead of the Akagai. But lots more zeros and vowels and a couple of gates there. Then we have the, uh, the US planes, and here we have sheets of, let me get these right here, I'm gonna read this, because I'm not quite sure, because they look very similar. Okay. So we have these ones here are our F4F Wildcats. Uh, and then we have Dauntlesses. And then we have some large Devastators is my understanding of those. So let's get a nice close up look at those. And again, really nice detail on those. Those look great. And here we have USS Enterprise, USS Morris, a couple torpedoes, a couple bomb markers, right? There's a theme on those. And again, the low altitude side on those planes. And this one gives us USS Hornet and USS Bouch. And again. And the last sheet we have, and I'm just gonna punch a couple of these. They punch really easily. These are really, really thick gray core counters. I think that's a little initiative marker. Some explosion markers for, I presume, land damage, and then some different targeting and administrative counters that you've got here as well. But that's everything that comes in the game, right? It's not like a ton of stuff, but that was a good chunk of scenarios, and you're gonna play these again and again, uh, and it says that they play in uh, two, two hours kind of or less. So I, I'm really interested to play this. I love aerial war games, and these little light ones often have something really neat to them because they don't get bogged down in a very tedious simulation where you play a four hour game that would be a 12 minute dogfight at most, right? So I'm excited to see if, if, how pacey this is, how we can get going with it, uh, and what this looks like. So uh, you will see more of this on the channel, but if you're interested in this, check this out, Fight to the Pacific. And this is being recorded in April of 2023. There is a Kickstarter for Fighters of Europe or over Europe. Uh, I believe coming to Kickstarter fairly soon, so there's more of this to come. So hopefully this is up enough time where you might be able to check that out. So uh, anyway, Fighters of the Pacific from Capsicum Games. Check this out if you're interested. But appreciate you very much for tuning in. I've been Alexander from theplayersaid.com.